this is Kenny with Beat Body Training and first of all I want to get this right off the bat done and out there I am well aware that I'm wearing a Marvel hat with a DC shirt I know I've totally crossed it over I'm sorry I'm gonna get hated on by a lot of gamers out there on YouTube but that's cool anyways what I want to talk to you guys today is about Instagram and why looking at all these posts on Instagram can either be very motivating and positive for you or extremely damaging to your entire fat loss journey. Now we all know the posts that we see you know right before you go to bed you see like people's epic cheat meals or you see like what a bodybuilder or a physique model uh, or a bikini contest person is eating on their cheat meal and then you think well why aren't I able to have that? You know, Phil Heath has, you know, condiments on his turkey breast. Or, uh, you know, Kai Green does X, Y, Z. Or Simeon Panda's doing this or that. Uh, you know, you see it all the time. I know I see it because, you know, Instagram, whatever you like, it keeps promoting more and more and more and more of it every time you log on to Instagram. Here's what I want you guys to know about this. Your body and a bodybuilder's body are completely different. Um, you know, if you see The Rock and his, his, this is infamous right now, his cheat meal, his meal plan, uh, his cheat day, you know, it's crazy. It's like 10 pizzas, 10 pancakes, you know, it's like 10,000 calories. If you tried to do that, you know, once a week, I guarantee you, your chances of getting a heart attack are going to go up, like, probably 50%. Like, your doctor would be like, what the hell are you doing? Like, what, what are you doing? You know? You don't, you don't have the muscle mass that these guys, like Phil Heath or The Rock, have. Or even your local bodybuilder, who's probably 260 pounds of, like, muscle. You don't have that kind of muscle mass where your body is constantly burning it. You probably don't even have the amount of drugs they're taking, like the insulin or the, uh, you know, the E-Stack or the DMP that these guys are on, some of them. Like, come on. Let's be real. There's a cheat day that the average person who's, you know, on basically a diet can have, and then there's what they have. And you also have to remember that these are people that are working out like two to three times a day or they're up at 5 a.m. and they're doing their cardio or they're lifting such heavy weight that they're constantly burning things. Like they're burning calories. Like the average person's not there. And if you're on Instagram all the time and you're, you're checking out what they're posting in these long, huge posts and you're like, yeah, you know, it makes sense. It makes sense for them. There's also, you don't know if they've been a track athlete, a football player. Like, you have no idea. My best advice to you is, you know what? It's entertaining. It's social media. You know, it's, it's something that we read or watch just to kind of veg out. But don't take it as the gospel. Like, come on. You know if you're eating that much food, you're going to get, like, shortness of breath. And if the food gives you shortness of breath, you're, you probably shouldn't have it, right? So, if you are fat... If you are overweight, if you are obese, or if you just want to lose some pounds, the best advice I can give you is, yeah, there's a, there's a balance between, you know, going completely clean and then having bits and pieces here and there, and then there's, like, just totally binge eating. I honestly don't think that you should even be binge eating. Like, there's a reason why people stay fat is because your body you're not able to fool your body with like six days clean and then one day you know you go all out your body knows how to survive if you've been fat for 20 years uh you know that one cheat meal a week your body's just gonna say thank you and it's gonna store it as more fat so what you read on instagram making you think that it's okay is not it's gonna do you more damage I also understand that, you know, on the flip side of it, when you see people's transformations, it's so inspiring. And if you're looking at that kind of stuff on Instagram, hey, go for it. I love posting my clients before and after photos so you can actually see what can be done in eight weeks with proper nutrition and actual exercise and proper hydration, and, you know, getting the right amount of sleep. When it all comes together, it's a beautiful thing. But you know, that's the one good side of Instagram and social media. So if you're looking at it from that angle, hey, you know what? Great. Keep doing that. 
and you know save those pictures that way you can be motivated all the time but when you see the cheat meal that's not necessarily something that you can always pull off like I'll give you a great example I can go out and eat probably in an, a whole large pizza heck I could probably eat an entire panormous pizza but here's the thing what am I gonna do the next day number one yeah I will feel like probably like I'm gonna have a heart attack I'm not gonna move my uh, wedding ring finger is gonna get fat like right in front of me it's just gonna grow but the next day I'll go out and run like 10 12 miles the average person is not gonna do that heck the average person doesn't have the time to do that right I do so if I go and do that I'm gonna go run 10 miles and I'm gonna burn it out or I'm gonna you know take a number two and it's gonna be gone like that's just what the body does I'm well aware of what I can do I'm not just gonna go out and and do that and then just sit the next day and go and do my regular work schedule that's crazy like why put on that many calories for what I don't understand and then you say you're bulking like that's not even a good bulk you're, you're eating things that don't benefit you at all it's not even like you're having uh, you know your cheat meals an excessive amount of turkey breast or tilapia or protein like basically protein you're eating trans fats you know hydrogenated fats you're drinking all the saturated fat you're doing more damage on your bulking <laughs> than you are basically doing anything it doesn't make any sense to me Do you see that it just doesn't make sense so remember what one person can do doesn't necessarily mean that you can do that and you gotta really you gotta just understand that so when you're on Instagram and you're flipping through stuff just remember what that person does how do they look what are their resources you don't know their, their regular diet their supplementation you have no idea how hard they're working out in the gym how frequent they work out in the gym so all of these different variables take into consideration don't just go like oh you know this famous bodybuilder did it I'm gonna do it oh you know Kenny can do it I'm gonna go do it no like think about it really think about it. there's there's a limitation and if you're not getting the results that you want that's probably a good reason why so be careful be careful with what you read on that Instagram man. I'm telling you sometimes it can ruin you I see it all the time and I hear it from you guys all the time in your emails when you call me and you ask me these questions and I meet you for consultations what they do is not what you should be doing all the time in fact if you're trying to lose weight you shouldn't some people need to diet harder than others and that's probably you so don't do what you see on Instagram all the time unless it's you know something very positive then that's cool anyways guys I hope this helps answer some of the questions that I get from you guys all the time don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you guys for watching in and supporting beat body training don't forget to go to my website www.beatbodytraining.com I have my meal plan online ready for download you just click the link get started and it'll be Dropbox to your email and you'll have all my knowledge and I'm looking forward to helping you guys. Send me an email at beatbodytrainingkenny at gmail.com. And if you have any questions, I'll be glad to help you guys. Have a great day. Take care. Stay positive. Peace.